What basics do many web designers spend years to learn? These basics are so universal that people followed them 20 years ago and will continue to do so in 20 years. What are these basics? Today, we're going to share those with you. The first thing you should know is that design techniques change annually, but human perception remains unchanged. This is because despite the evolution of design technologies and tools, the way people perceive content remains unchanged. That's why we can discuss web design basics, because nothing has changed except the variety of web design tools, the number of colors, forms, shades, and elements available for use. The basics do not change. For the demo, we'll be working with NicePage, a modern website builder available for both desktop, Windows, and Mac OS, and online. Basic number one, structure is the key. When the user comes to a website, the first thing they look at is the structure. In fact, it takes just three seconds for people to decide whether they want to stay and continue with a website or leave. So you have only three seconds to capture their attention. It can be done through a good structure only. A key part of this is the hero section, the large area at the top of the page. It often includes a headline, image or video, and a call to action. This section sets the tone, delivers your core message, and influences whether the visitor will scroll or bounce. No matter the quality of visuals you present on the page, if they look like a bunch of unstructured elements, you lose. The elements positioned in a well-structured way give all the necessary information in seconds. Basic number two, master the navigation. Navigation is a thing that web designers have not considered seriously for years, until mobile phones became an everyday device. The typical desktop navigation is the F pattern, and on mobiles, it is the Z pattern. It means that you should position the main elements on these key points, position them exactly where people expect to find them. Never hide crucial elements two or three levels deep. Doing so, you will lose user attention, therefore, a potential customer. Always keep in mind, if a user has to move their head for an obvious action, change navigation immediately. Basic number three, proper layout is necessary. Structure and navigation are closely connected with content positioning on a page, referring to principles of a proper layout. A good layout is when everything, every section, every element, every word feels perfectly placed. And this principle should work no matter the device the person uses, whether it is a huge screen or a tiny mobile phone. You should remember that a mobile user is typically distracted by multiple other things, messengers, banking apps, or mobile games. Your goal is to provide as much layout comfort as you can, so all the elements, buttons, and links should be of a size convenient for tapping with a thumb. Basic number four, pay attention to the text. Some designers believe that visuals are the most important part of the page, that only visuals can attract the user. It is totally wrong. Most people come to a website for content, and content, in most cases, is presented by text. So your task as a web designer is to wisely choose the text style for the whole page and for its separate sections. The key is to make the text readable. So don't be scared to experiment with font weights, styles, and sizes. You can be picky about the font styles. Don't try to put bold headings everywhere, only where it's necessary. Basic number five, learn to work with colors. Of course, colors reflect emotions, or in other words, they manipulate emotions, and some colors can be related to specific values. For example, we naturally associate red with danger or urgency. We see lots of examples when designers choose light gray content on a gray background or visuals and text that do not contrast. Working with contrast with different color shades is one of the ways to make your website pages readable and easy to work with. Basic number six, always keep performance in mind. One more truth is that most performance issues occur not because of complicated functionality, but because of poor design. Poorly optimized images, unnecessary animations, and massive background videos, all these things affect the page's performance. The solution is simple. First, optimize your images and think twice before adding this background video to the page. Second, be very picky about using small animations. Just because you can animate every button, icon, and section doesn't mean you should. It's all about a rational approach and the right balance. These are six web design basics that have been serving for years and will continue to serve for many years to come. One more principle, probably the most crucial of all, is that a professional web designer has the right tools and uses proven techniques. And this knowledge comes only with experience. The NicePage website builder can help you get started easily and you can achieve your goals more efficiently 
as its web design templates are already built with those basics in mind. Keep doing what you do, learn new things, and find the best web design ways that allow you to express your creativity and improve your skills. Like and subscribe to get more videos about web design.